CataractCoach.com, we're asking the question, can you use two hands to do the capsular axis? You can, but you sometimes are going to need the second non-dominant hand in a case like this to just fixate the eye. So the left hand using the chopper via the paracentesis is being used to fixate the eye so the patient won't move. And now the right hand is doing the capsular axis. And this is a case where we're making the capsular axis just about the size of the pupil, maybe a little bit bigger. But you notice that left hand is what's fixating the eye. This patient's less than fully cooperative, and it's important for me to fixate the eye with that left hand. And now I can use the right hand alone to do the capsular axis. Complete. So if you're starting off, you're a novice surgeon, beginning surgeon, yes, it's okay. Use two hands to help stabilize the forceps when you're doing your capsular axis, that's perfectly acceptable. So for most surgeons, this means using the right hand to hold the forceps, the left hand to help stabilize the right hand, and then using the two hands, of course, together to complete the rexus. But just keep in mind, as you advance your skills, you don't want to have to rely on that. As your skills advance, you want to be able to use just the one hand to do it, so that if you need to, like in this case, the second hand, the non-dominant hand, can be used to help fixate the eye. The rest of this case is pretty much a, a routine case. We're going to buzz in here with a phaco probe, chop the nucleus, and emulsify it rather quickly. We just want to touch on the topic of one hand or two hands for the caps rexus. And my advice is, okay to use two hands when you're a novice, but let's graduate to just one hand.